Would you risk cleaning this World War II Navy uniform? What if it belonged to your own father? Well, we're going to find that out. We're going to take a look and see the condition and see what you folks think. In many videos, we've talked about family heirlooms, needle points especially, that are risky to clean, where it could shrink during cleaning, colors could run, there's always risks. So we're going to give you one that hits close to home for us. This is the Navy uniform, that what it's called the Dress Blues, from my father's service in World War II. This uniform has been sitting in my mother's closet for at least the better, better part of 70 to 80 years. And um, I found it recently, I was going to restore it, give it a clean, and then have it mounted as respect and a memento of my father's service for this country many decades ago. So, what happens is, what you have to ask yourself on something like this, no different than if you look at the bottom, there are links to other videos, to any kind of a weave or fabric that has, that is very old, that has meaning for you, where you would not want to risk taking out soils if it would harm the, the colors or the texture or anything like that. So as we look at this, this uniform, this is the top, of course, this is the pants right here, all 100% wool. There are a tiny, a couple of tiny right here, insect marks. We're going to also treat it to repel moths and other insects before it goes in a frame. So what we're going to do is a very gentle cleaning. We're not sending this off to a dry cleaner where it goes into a big tumbling machine with solvents. We're going to hand clean this. This is not a how-to video. There are others below if you want to hit those links. But we're, what we're talking about is do what do you risk when you clean this? If you were to try to clean it with water-based detergents, you could shrink it. Some of these seams are very old, even though there isn't a lot of wear on it. They're very old, they could come apart. So we're gonna gently clean it with solvents after we vacuum it and chem sponge it. And the undergarment here, you can see how yellow this is. Now hopefully the camera will pick most of that up. You can see how yellow it is. It was never like this originally. Now, are we gonna try to remove that? We probably could remove that yellowing but the risks deteriorating and weakening that fabric. And we don't want to do that. We want to put this, this goes under the top. We want to put it there. It will show through the neckline here as it's mounted and we'll, um, and we'll clean it, but we're not going to use anything too aggressive to remove the yellowing. The patches here, we're going to clean those up. This here, these stripes, we're not going to try to make them white like they were because the risk is too great. So. What you have to weigh out when you're cleaning something that's been in your family for generations, that's maybe got some s cigarette smoke on it, it's been involved in a fire or flood, it's got some staining, is the cleaning, the risk of cleaning, what it can do to colors in the fabric, is it worth it? Sometimes it's better off left alone. Well, if this uniform was in your family, we'd like to know what would you do? Leave your comments below. Thank you for watching. And questions or comments actually below and if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel by hitting that subscribe button down the left, hit the little bell, and you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. And most of all, thank you, Papa Joe, for serving your country.